Hi, Terry here. Welcome back to Times Gone Tech. I was just taking a break from mowing my yard. You can kind of see the mower off here in the distance. Those, uh, they don't make batteries like they used to, I guess. They're back on the charger. Or I just need to buy a few more or sell off part of the yard. Anyway, uh, somebody had asked me recently just how susceptible are modern remakes. Uh, this is a Pieta. Cap and ball firearms in general, uh, how susceptible are they to rust? Anyway, because I'm talking about uh, this new caps that I'm using and this primer, this H48 primer being corrosive and promotes rust more so than I think a Remington or a CCI does. Well, just how susceptible to rust are these things anyway? Well, if you remember in a previous video, I broke the uh, cylinder locking spring. There's a little pin that comes up. It's all worked in here together in time with the attached to the trigger here and uh, as the cylinder rotates into position um, a spring pushes this little pin here up into the cylinder locking it into place and I was filming um, a video and I broke one. Oh, and by the way yes in the last video somebody also commented that they thought they saw this part of my uh, loading lever drop out and <laughs> yes it did and I found it and brought it back and that's why um, you always you need to keep a set of spare parts spare screws on hand but anyway, I replaced the spring out here in the test range, and I finished the video, and here is the spring. It's been sitting on this sawhorse behind me since I shot that. That's been at least about a month now, maybe. And you can see it's got a little rust on it, but uh, otherwise, if this thing wasn't broken right here, I could clean this off with a Scotch-Brite pad and put it back to use after being outside in the rain sun wind rain for about a month so we'll leave it out here and see how long it lasts so yes they will rust but no they're not going to turn into a rust bucket overnight you don't have you don't have to dis uh you don't have to unload and clean them every night in other words now while i'm back here real quick uh another test of my homemade percussion caps I really just did not like how that last test went. I've done two, uh, two tests, one live fire, two just with caps. The first one I did excellent. Um, I had very good results, no misfires whatsoever. And then this last one uh, had quite a few misfires in my opinion. So I'm just curious, was it the caps? Was it how I made them? Was it the, um, the additives for the hardener? I remember I tested... Um, uh, an artificial lacquer. I tested a super glue and a natural cellulose. And I've heard a lot of good things about natural cellulose. And I, you know, I believe it's probably going to be the one I'm going to go with. But I even had a misfire with one of those. So was it the caps or what was going on? So I'm back. I'm going to do a quick reshoot. So I've got an empty cylinder, no charge, caps only. And uh, I'm going to shoot two lacquer, two super glue and then two more natural cellulose. So first let's shoot the lacquer. Okay, the lacquer fired fine. And let me show you the caps. The caps spread out, but they don't disintegrate. It just, it stays right on the nipple or it just drops off. That's encouraging. Okay, now two made with super glue. You know, I think those are even louder. I think those are even stronger this time. And now I've got a caps in there. It's not stuck, it's just sitting there. Finally, uh, another two with natural cellulose. You know, to my calibrated ear, and I'm not wearing earplugs this time, and it wasn't really that loud, just the caps, like a firecracker. Um, I'm gonna go back and look at the playback on it, but it seems to me like the two made with super glue were actually louder, uh, more stronger. It's interesting. Um, I've never tested cyanoacrylate adhesive, and I don't know of anybody who has used a cyanoacrylate adhesive as an extra hardener in a percussion cap, but um, heck, we might be onto something here. So, oh, and by the way, uh, the uh, I'm still, I haven't got them in my pocket, of course, 
Let's put this on because it's a little chilly out here. I'm still carrying the uh, other caps and the stuff around in my pocket. I got my other revolver loaded, uh, carrying them around. And uh, going to be back here in a follow-up video over a week to test uh, durability and resist re resistance to moisture. And uh, yeah, that's it. I've got another quick video I'm going to be doing here on a wet method. In fact, I'm going to film that tonight, try and get it up, uh, uploaded early in the morning. Um, that's going to be pre-mixing all of the chemicals in acetone and then loading the um, caps using an eyedropper. So I'll make up a slurry and then just put a drop in instead of packing it dry. Uh, I'm going to try that and see how that works. So stick around. Thanks for watching.